Hello YouTube, and welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science. This episode is a bit special, as only three stories are covered, but they are more in-depth. Our first story is from the world of medicine. Scientists in France have had a major breakthrough in stem cell research, for the first time reprogramming skin cells from elderly donors into stem cells. You see, as humans age, their cells do too, taking on certain characteristics. Until now, this final stage of aging has been an obstacle to inducing pluripotent stem cells. To overcome this, the scientists used two genetic factors in addition to the four usually used when working younger cells. This new mixture of genetic factors was successful in converting the skin cells into stem cells, with all the ability to repair, divide, and differentiate that you'd expect. The most intriguing result of these experiments is what happens after the stem cells are differentiated back into normal types, such as skin, neurons, and muscle. Despite having originated from elderly skin cells, the process of becoming stem cells then back into other cells removed any signs of cellular aging. Obviously, while exciting, there is much more work to be done before this is developed into any kind of practical therapy, but it has huge implications for generative medicine. Our next story is from the world of biotechnology and also relates to the reprogramming of cells. The University of Nottingham is leading a new project to create what they are calling a biological operating system. Essentially, designing a cell that is easily reprogrammable to perform various functions like a computer. Right now, when researchers want a cell to perform a new function, it requires a lot of trial and error. The first stages in this research will be attempting to implement such a system in E. coli. However, a big component of this project will be the development of more effective computer modeling tools, allowing for more accurate predictions involved with inserting new genes into an organism. If this project is successful, it could drastically accelerate synthetic biology research, including the benefits of it which are such technologies ranging from new sources of food and fuel to environmental cleanup, medical applications, and more. And our final story is from the world of physics, but is something we've never done on Brainstorm. This story is highly controversial and nothing is confirmed, but it has too much potential to go unreported. The reason for this big disclaimer is because some Italian physicists have been demonstrating what they claim to be a cold fusion reactor. Cold fusion is thought to be physically impossible by most scientists, but this new device called the ECAT has shown surprising potential. The device appears to take a small amount of input energy and multiplies it around tenfold. However, the physics behind the reaction aren't understood, and the inventor won't divulge many details about the ECAT. But there is some reason for optimism as a group of Swedish physicists who witnessed a demonstration said that the amount of energy produced couldn't have been from a normal chemical reaction. Supposedly, the reaction involves hydrogen and nickel, with one hypothesis on how it occurs. The reaction may occur due to vibration of hydrogen atoms in a lattice structure of nickel, leading to nuclear fusion. So this could end up being a well-orchestrated hoax, or a revolution in clean, nearly unlimited energy. Either way, it's big science news, and you heard it here first. Well, hope you enjoyed this very special episode of Brainstorm. If you did, please consider subscribing, and be sure to check the links in the video description.